Hey friends, now that Christmas is finally over, it's time for New Year's Eve camping. Time to meet up with some family friends, hang out. All right, but first we gotta get the rig ready. This thing needs a bath. Already got the firewood. Need to check the propane, make sure that the levels are good. Where we're gonna be camping on New Year's Day, the temperature is gonna drop 40 degrees. So we definitely wanna make sure that we don't run out of propane. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today is uh, starting the checklist and make sure we're good. Did you hear that? Did you guys hear that? <coughs> oh no. <coughs> I made it. It's coming. The Rona's coming. Health Organization now warning of a quote tsunami of new cases worldwide. Here's a little disclaimer. What you saw just now, that's our way of dealing with the events that are unfolding in front of us. Uh, we in no way uh, think COVID is to be taken lightly. Obviously this pandemic in our world is uh, causing quite a disruption and loss of life. Uh, our family has suffered uh, <clears throat> personal loss due to COVID uh, and it's obviously affected um, the way we live our life. So what you just saw was just our way of working through it. Now with that being said, uh, COVID Claus came to visit our house this Christmas. So he was definitely an unwanted guest. Um, but we're trying to make the most of it. It all started with our uh, youngest son, Duncan. He, uh, he started feeling sick the other day right after Christmas. So uh, we got him tested, found out that he had COVID, and we started going from there. At that point, Ron and I, we both took tests. Our other son took a test, um, and Duncan was the only one. Well, we were supposed to close out 2021 camping with our friends, our good friends, out at Lake Grapevine. It has now become an annual event, and we were really looking forward to it. You know, we uh, had a few new toys we wanted to play with from Christmas. We got some e-bikes. We were really excited. Uh, we started getting them ready, started getting the camper ready, planning for our trip. but. We took another test the other day, and Rhonda has COVID. Uh oh. So, that all went out the window. COVID has screwed up the end of our 2021. But you know what? We've had a really good year, camping wise. Uh, 2021 it was our, let's just call it our breakout year. We, uh, we were able to take about 16 different adventures. We saw many different places in Texas that we love. We got to explore a little bit of Oklahoma and we made a long journey up to Colorado Springs which we absolutely love and we want to go back. So those were the good points of 2021. You know we met a lot of great people along the way. We found some great journeys. We found our groove in this Harvey community. Uh, we made some mistakes along the way. The trailer may or may not have been backed into the house at one time. Just a little bit. But, you know, we learn from these mistakes, we get stronger, we have fun, and we try and laugh. You know? So, you gotta roll with the punches sometimes. Sometimes life throws you curves, as in right now, 
I'm here alone in our camper. It's in our driveway, but my partner Rhonda is inside sick. And it's not the way I envision ending 2021. But you know what? We've got some great things in store for 2022, and we can't wait and show them to y'all. 2022 is gonna be epic. We are gonna have some of our longest adventures along the way. We're gonna be going to New Mexico, Arizona, Utah. We're gonna meet up with family, friends. We're gonna go to a huddle. So we have great plans, great expectations for 2022. We just need to close out 2021 and be done with this. The moral of the story is this. Life happens, you know? You have to keep moving forward. You gotta move past your adversities. Learn from your mistakes. You know what? One of our mottos is never take anything for granted. So are we disappointed that we can't go camping for New Year's Eve? Absolutely. Do we want to make sure that we're safe, our family's safe, and anybody that we come in contact with is safe? Absolutely. You know, we're disappointed, but we're looking forward to so much more in 2022. Um, our adventure continues. We hope that you join us along the way and keep coming back. We will have new videos for you every week, sometimes a little bit more. Well, the certain somebody that's also a little bit depressed about not camping is Bear. As you can see in this photo, he's sad. But you know what? We're all together, and that's what matters. All right, so that's our New Year's Eve story. Um, we don't want to turn this into a negative. You know, we want it to be a positive. We want to have a good outlook towards 2022. So we wish you all a happy New Year from myself and Rhonda and Bear. <laughs> and we look forward to getting out there and showing you our adventures, meeting you all along the way. Um, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that way you know when we do release new new content. Leave us a comment. Let us know how has COVID affected you? Has it changed your travel plans? Let us know. We're anxious to see what you guys have to say. But until then, Never take anything for granted, and we'll see you out there. Hey guys, it's Rhonda. Just wanted to say Happy New Year. I am on the mend, not feeling great, but I have it a whole lot better than a lot of people that have had COVID. So here's to a better 2022. Bye.